our goal is to take these items and list them in a cell separated by a comma. So we use the amazing text join function. The delimiter, in double quotes, we have to put whatever we want between the items, comma, space, and double quote, comma. We can ignore or include empty cells. The default is to include, so I'm going to skip this and type a comma. Highlight the items, close parentheses, and we're done. But here's the thing. If you really have a comma and a space as a delimiter, a much better way to go is to use the new array to text function. We highlight the items, and I don't even have to use the last argument, because when I close parentheses and hit Enter, bam, done with a much faster and easier array to text. Now, if we do have an empty cell, then we probably do want to use text join. But Control Z, if you don't have an empty cell, that's a cool tip. Now here's the bonus tip, comma, the second argument is called format. And if you use zero or concise, that'll put a comma and space delimiter. But if you use strict, it'll put it into array syntax. That means curly brackets house the array. Semicolons mean go down a row. And comma means go over a column. So in this case, each of these items goes down a new row. The delimiter will be a semicolon. So one, close parentheses, and Enter. And the function is smart enough to know that when we have a horizontal range, that means we're going across the columns. Then it will put in array syntax using a comma for column. And if we change this to a number, bam, it even knows the data type. All right, here's bonus number two. This is how I used to create array syntax before we had array to text. You simply highlight the range and hit the F9 key. And then I would backspace. Because if I hit Enter right now, it spills as an array. But if I wanted it as text, get rid of that equal sign, Enter. And that's the manual old school way. All right, so one, two, three amazing ways to use array to text. Thank you.